you know, just really excited for our guys and, uh, you know, proud of them. Uh, you know, I, I thought we came in with a pretty good mindset. We've had uh, good practices uh, the last couple of days. I, I thought even shoot around this morning, good energy. We, our whole thing was to bring the juice. We've talked about passion. Coach Coach uh, Henderson at Scout, he found a little quote about bringing the juice, the energy. Um, but he also told them, uh, our players, that, you know, you don't understand when they cut and they move and, and when they play at a high level, you can't simulate that practice. And they came out and they had the juice from the beginning. They jump on his 10 zip. Uh, obviously, Koontz hit some – big shots. He had not been shooting like that, but, you know, I had told uh, the radio people, Stan and Wyatt, that, you know, my biggest fear was somebody else would have a big day. And obviously he, he was the one who got them going, uh, you know, and then we settled down and we, you know, we cut it uh, several times in the first half where we got it to, you know, five, seven, whatever, but they just kept coming at us. They beat us in transition. They kind of beat us every which way. And then the second half, we still started the second half. I thought we we did a pretty good job of, uh, you know, playing pretty well. But they just, you know, they have a shot that goes straight up, hits the backboard, drops in for a three. Um, so, you know, but at the end, you know, the plays went our way and our guys made plays and made shots. I thought that our energy on defense was the thing that changed the game in the second half. Our Our – play hard chart, our energy chart uh, at half, we only had seven and we ended up with 40. So that means 33 in the second half, uh, which is just unbelievable. Uh, you know, and, and Mike started it, I thought with some steals, Selton gave us a good boost with his energy and defense. Um, we went small several times with all guards. And we also went with, with Ish, happy for Ish that he was able to you know, really be productive for us, 11 points, uh, the highest plate, uh, plus minus, you know, but again, you know, Marquise uh, struggled the other night, really good games, not only scoring and hit that big dagger three off that pass from Mark, but, um, you know, six assists, two two turnovers, three steals, uh, Mark again, almost a double-double, and then, you know, Nigel, his consistent, uh, you know, seven for 10, four for five, three assists, uh, you know, just a, a good team win, uh, you know, and, you know, you get a quad one win on the road. We've, we've been very fortunate to play pretty good on the road and win some games and found a way to win a close game an overtime game. Now you got to come back and hopefully get some fresh legs and some determination because you got a, a wounded West Virginia who got their butts kicked today coming into our place on Monday. Thank you, Coach. First question to Kellis. Hey, Bruce, I know he redeemed himself there by making some shots in overtime, but when you're watching that final play regulation with Marquise, what, what do you wish he had done differently there? Well, you know, we actually, we wanted Nigel with the ball, and I, I don't know if you saw him. He just kind of, he was he was exhausted, I'll, I'll be honest. And and Marquise, you know, we were talking about running Nigel off off of Marquise to put them in a bind and see if we could get downhill. Uh, he just waited too long and, and, you know, nothing happened. I, obviously if you wait that long, I should have probably called timeout. Didn't get it. Didn't get a chance. All of a sudden, I guess the clock stuck up on me, but uh, you know, get downhill. I mean, make them follow us. It was the, the other big difference beside our activity on defense uh, was definitely that we got to the paint, we got to the free throw line, we got them in the bonus, uh, got Rockington in foul trouble, uh, you know, which we, in the first half, we, I think it was, I'm going to say 18 to four points in the paint, something like that. Uh, so that, you know, at the end of the game, you know, take it at them, make them make a play and then read it. And with, with Ish, um, I mean, I was probably most impressed with his inside play, he had the two dunks there. Um, is that something you think is kind of awakening him? He can give you on a more regular basis after this? Well, we just, you know, we've been on him. Um, I just, the other day, I just said, please, Ish, you got to give us something. And he actually had uh, two offensive rebounds in practice yesterday, which I don't know if he's had all year and, and scored buckets. So, um, you know, just, you know, I, I'm happy for him. I've always said, you know, I've told you guys, great young man, cares, wants to do well. I think a little bit, like I, I've said before, he 
all of a sudden now he's realizing what he can't do and he's let it affect what he can do. And, um, you know, he came with a great, great mindset, gave us some juice, uh, some energy and, and, and good things happened to him. So I'm, I'm happy for him, for all the guys. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Congrats on the win. Yep. And it was also important to get Shelton back because his defense is, you know, he didn't score much and he'd get in a rhythm, but, you know, his defense was good. Three assists, five rebounds. Uh, those, those are, those are big minutes for us, especially when we had to get stops down the stretch. Thank you, coach. Uh, next question to Cole. Yeah. Hey coach. Um, obviously the guys have kind of taken to the road dog mentality. I was just wondering if you would kind of talk about if you've seen a difference in their demeanor, the, these last few games playing on the road. Uh, you know, it's been pretty much all year. You started at Wichita, you went to Nebraska. Um, obviously we didn't have quite the pop at Mississippi and uh, it's a big game we did, you know, but you know, you grow through go growing pains. I, I, I've said all along, you know, Marquise, it's a lot of it's new to him. Um, he, he even talks about it. He, he came in and watched film after Baylor. And, you know, he just keeps like putting his head down. He knows, you know, but tonight, uh, you know, he made plays and, and that, that's part of growing up as a team. I, I believe we have five road wins now. Is that right, Tom? So, um, and several of those are quad one wins. So those are pretty good wins. And uh, now we got, you know, some home games coming up or a home game coming up. We got to have, we got to play very determined against West Virginia. Cause like I said earlier, uh, they, they had a tough game today and you know, quick turnaround, they're going to come with some energy and we're going to have to play uh, very, very, very determined on, on Monday night. And we're going to need everybody. Yeah, that was just what I was going to ask coach. You had that quick turnaround on Monday. Do you maybe think about getting going a little bit deeper on the bench and giving some of those guys more minutes if the game can allow for that? You know, I, I hope so. I, and again, you, you still had Ish coming off 22. You had Selton 21. You got uh, Carlton eight. Luke had a couple wide open looks and he gave us good minutes the other day. Uh, but you're, you're definitely, you know, especially Mark going 44 and Nigel going 39 tonight and Marquise 43, but Marquise keeps telling me, let me play until I die. So, um, you know, that's the determination, but I also told him I want him to have a good head on his, you know, shoulders at the end of games and what, what usually causes uh, failure. And that, you know, one thing is obviously stress, but fatigue also has a factor. Got to make sure we're not, uh, you know, that we, we have some freshness tomorrow. It's going to be uh, eat breakfast, watch a little film, West Virginia, walk through, shoot some free throws and, and go through scouting report and hope we uh, get some fresh legs and, uh, and, and excited, excited minds, I guess, uh, is, is important to get, go into that game. Appreciate it, Coach. Yep. Uh, next uh, Scott. Yeah, hey, Bruce, congrats on the win. Um, I was just curious uh, what kind of message you feel like you guys sent today and how important is it stacking a win upon a win here down the stretch? Well, you know, if we're going to make any progress and get ourselves where we're you know, considered for the tournament, we're going to have to keep moving forward and keep winning games. Every game is a, this was huge to get another road game. We got them back at our place in two weeks. It's not going to be easy. Um, you know, West Virginia, every game's tough. Go to Oklahoma State. We, they just, you know, took it to West Virginia, uh, you know, after, after struggling the other night. Uh, so it, it, you know, you just, you got to keep getting ready. The team that has that determination, that excitement, um, you know, is, is important. I, you know, I, again, you know, it's, uh, we're going to need everybody. We win when everybody plays well. Mike didn't get 10 tonight, but uh, nine and three. And after a struggles in the start, I thought that was really huge for us. Thank you, Bruce. Yep. Uh, next question to Arnie. I think it was, um, Mark said at halftime, uh, the message was basically get shutouts and get in the paint. And really those, you struggled in both of those areas the first half. What, what did you do in the second half to, to turn that around so dramatically? 
Well, I think the first thing is that, you know, we fought things. I, I kept telling Marquise, make them feel you on the defensive end. And we did it without fouling. Uh, we fought some passes. We made them get out further. Um, you know, they, they, they kind of did whatever they wanted. They had 40 at halftime and then they don't score. They scored 44 against TCU here a couple of weeks ago. So that, uh, you know, and, and some of it was, they had somebody step up and make some big shots, uh, which gave them a nice boost, gave them some energy. It's a tough environment. It's loud. Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, it just, uh, you know, it, it, that definitely helped. And then just getting to the paint. You know, I thought in the first half we got to the paint and we read it, you know, we showed them on film, they're going to all come. And, we, you know, we made the right passes. I thought maybe two threes were a little quick or forced, but the other ones were all wide open. And, uh, and we just didn't finish at the hoop a couple of times. Uh, you know, we didn't get to the free throw line. We didn't grind out layups and we did a better job of that in the second half. Thanks. Uh, Mitchell. Okay, one thing oh. I bring up too, and I hindsight, you know, you always ask hindsight. I thought at Baylor in the second half, we didn't go to Mark right away in the second half. And he had had such a good first half. And the first, I think two out of the first three possessions, we went to Mark and he was the one who got the layup, got downhill. Um, obviously that, you know, we didn't stop him a few times, but it, it got us kind of broke their defense up a little bit. Thank you, Coach. Next question to Mitchell. Hey, Coach, I was wondering, where do you think this bamboo tree is at in the growing process? <laughs> well, we, we, it, it grows two feet a, a day once you get to that fifth, that, that fifth year. And uh, we definitely, you know, continue to take some steps. And, and I, I thought I, I hopefully did a good job with the guys after Baylor, uh, you know, of keeping their minds right and, uh, you know, moving forward, we didn't even watch any Baylor film at all. And, you know, we just, all we could do is focus on Iowa State. Obviously, they jumped on us, but, uh, you know, we, we've continued to make progress. I think the biggest progress is, you know, the, the two that really struggled against uh, uh, what, against Baylor the other night, uh, Marquise and Mike. I mean, it just, and they were major factors for us and gave us a chance. So if you got everybody playing we got to have everybody. And then it's too, that's, a, that's a, a nice jump. So you, you've moved ahead about six, 12 feet in, in, in a couple of days, which uh, now we got to do that again on, on Monday. Any other questions for coach? Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks you guys. See you Monday.